Episode 259. Stress comes from ignoring things you shouldn't be ignoring. You're listening to the very best podcast in the world on health, wealth, and happiness. Please remember to leave a review and share with all your friends and family. And here is your host, Lars Hilsa. And I welcome you, brothers and sisters, to this Thursday's episode of the very best podcast in the world, your only source in the universe for personal supremacy through health, wealth, and happiness. Now, today we're going to be talking about stress again, uh, because, uh, you know, there is positive stress and there is negative stress, and there are those people who need the stress to function, like myself, and there are those who collapse under it, uh, <laughs> plenty of you out there. Uh, you know, when I hear a lot of the whiners saying, oh, I'm so stressed out, you know, and they're in their nine to five, making a decent um, amount of money, and, you know, they got the family set up, they get the house, you know, and they get the car, and, you know, that kind of ordeal, and they're so stressed out because they have to take the kids to school in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of ordeal. Those people clearly have not experienced stress or, you know, their stress tolerance level is at least significantly lower than those of us functioning, uh, you know, uh, highly functioning sociopaths <laughs> out there, you know, who uh, ravage in the business world and, uh, you know, that kind of ordeal. Uh, and if I remember, you know, managing, uh, what was it? three simultaneous projects on uh, three different continents and you know spending most of my time you know just f figuring out flights night flights so that i could get some sleep and wouldn't be bothered by the phone ringing or emails coming in you know in piles <laughs> that was that was the life and you know even then i was like yeah it's okay you know i can deal with it and uh then you're like Okay, yeah, uh, okay, take your kids to school and, you know, go to Starbucks and whine at the waiter how stressed art you are. Um, that's, however, not what this is about. Uh, this is about um, things you shouldn't be ignoring, uh, and you are, and how that creates a negative stress. And we'll get into that right after we do our daily housekeeping. Item number one of which is sharing is caring, meaning that, uh, you know, when an episode comes along and all of them are valuable, because obviously, uh, if they are sold by the wallet rapists, people buy them uh, by the thousands and, you know, make them drive their Lambo or their Bentley or, you know, whatever. Um, uh, and this podcast is, you know, truly altruistic. You get the same info, if not better, uh, but for free. So in that sense, please make sure uh, to share each and every episode far and wide into your respective social networks. Uh, to prevent your friends and family from being wallet raped uh, by those bastards, <laughs> and, you know, while they could get the same content here uh, for free, if not even better content, of course, because it is at, at the end of the day, the very best podcast in the world. Uh, that being said, item number two is uh, that the views here in are my own, yada, yada, blah, don't reflect any blah, 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 blah. Uh, and item number three, uh, we continue to be in remodeling and building and construction mode. So the episodes are a bit shorter, a bit more concise, a bit more down to the point, which I have received feedback is, uh, well received. And in that sense, uh, I hope that, uh, uh yeah, we're going to have more time to, uh, do more dedicated and more long, more longer. Yeah. Longer episodes in the foreseeable future. Now, what are things uh, that you're ignoring right now? We could have made this, you know, um, uh, tomorrow's episode and made an exercise out of it, but I kind of failed in, <laughs> in planning that because I'm planning so many other things right now. Uh, however, you know, you should be uh, very reflective about this question. 
you know, you could be under a certain amount of stress while ignoring things. And uh, the fact that you're ignoring the things you're ignoring stresses you out. <laughs> and that's... <laughs> I'm kind of laughing at the stupidity of my own of my own statement here. But at the end of the day, those are the things which are really, really, really grinding away at you, right? Um, you're ignoring things which you should be paying attention to, right? Uh, and um, you're not doing so. You're ignoring the things you're ignoring, and that stresses you out. Okay, there, we got the point. Now, uh, what are those things? For instance, you know, it's... Um, workload, you know, these might be minuscule tasks, right? That should be done in maybe an hour or two. Uh, but uh, since they're, uh, you know, biting at your brainstem constantly, you know, imagine Stevie, our guard poodle, you know, biting into your, <laughs> into your, <laughs> into your brainstem. And, uh, <laughs> you know, these are the tasks that are, that have been laying around. Let me give you an example, right? We built a new barn, uh, the other day. And, uh, I had to put on the, the screws, uh, into the roof. I, you know, only, um, uh, done, you know, one or two screws just to hold them down, but they weren't prepared for the autumn storms that are, you know, just around the corner. And you know, just, just the other day, I was like, God damn it. You know, and I was, I was procrastinating these things away, uh, deliberately in parts, but, uh, you know, they had good reasons, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the reasons are really the worst, right? So the the um, the roof we put on was like this dark gray. So immediately when the sun was shining, this thing would just heat up to unbelievable hellish temperatures, and uh, it was un it was impossible going up there putting in the screws when you know the the uh, the the roofing had a temperature of you know fifty sixty degrees Celsius, which you would get you know within a matter of an hour, right? Uh, and then if it was raining, which it does here quite frequently, uh, you couldn't go on there because it's too slippery. So you would, you know, immediately fall down. So it was this clusterfuck, clusterfuck situation. So I was putting this thing off and off and off and on. And, um, the thing is, you know, now autumn is coming closer. I noticed, fuck, you know, the foliage is coming down, uh, and, uh, the leaves are, you know, not sticking to the trees anymore. And I'm, you know, so I immediately went and said, look, okay, fuck this. Uh, here's the screws, you know, here's, <laughs> here's the power drill. Let's get up there. Let's get it done. Uh, however, until that point, it was like, God damn it. You know, I couldn't motivate myself um, because you had to find just the right moment to go up there. Couldn't be raining. Sun couldn't be shining. So, you know, it was this day of uh, cloudiness that uh, was there with nothing else to do. And it was on this day, you know, that I finally went up there, finally put the screws in, and then it was just this big thing of relief. However, you know, looking back and being aware about it, uh, you know, it was this thing that was, I knew I had to get it done because if I didn't before the storms came, that thing, you know, that roof would have gone off and it wouldn't, it would have been a shitload of money that just would have, you know, been to shits because, you know, I couldn't be bothered to get up there and, or find that right moment. However, that right moment had to, uh, be not occupied with anything else, you know, of the other billion things that you, uh, that you're probably busy with. And, uh, you know, it was this kind of situation where you have to kick yourself in the nads and say, okay, look, now's the time. All the other stuff I have on my platter, that's got to wait. You know, I have to get up there and have to get that done. Now, this example was uh, rather stupid, but it was something, uh, you know, real life uh, and minuscule. That was the thing that I was mentioning. The problem is that, you know, one of these things is okay, right? But if you've got tons of them piling up, that's going to give you this major stress out, this, you know, eventual burnout because you're facing so much shit and immediately, or the, with, this puts you in the situation rather where you're, you get into this, uh, stage of, um, uh, of paralysis, you know, because your workload is so high, so much has piled up that, uh, you know, there's nothing left to do. Right. And I think all of us have gone through that situation, uh, that, you know, the workload is just so high that you're like, God damn it, I'm never going to get this done. Right. And then you freeze a lot of us do. And it took me really quite a lot of, uh, quite a long time in, you know, managing projects, um, to find a way out of this. And, uh, 
I'm not going to tell you what it was because you're going to have to find that out for yourself. Now, uh, what this uh, premature exercise is going to be is to establish a list of the things you shouldn't be ignoring, right? If it's a bill laying around or, you know, a reminder for a bill uh, and you can't pay it, you know, call the guys up and say, look, you know, this is the situation. I have empty pockets. You know, you can feel for yourself. Uh, call them up and say, look, you know, payment plan, for instance, you know, because that's just going to make things better. It's going to relief. It's going to provide instant relief for that situation. If there is, uh, you know, an unpleasant um, talk that you need to have with, uh, you know, one of your coworkers or your boss or whatever, you know, that's something which you shouldn't be postponing. That's something which needs to get off your chest just to relieve the stress. Right. And those are the kind of things that I'm talking about. And those are the things which uh, I needed to find. I needed to write down and to schedule them, really make appointments. If it's this talk with the person that you need to speak with, set an appointment. Right. If it's a doctor's appointment because you've got, you know, an itch or a pain somewhere, which you, you know, subconsciously know that it's something not so good. Right. Call the doctor, set an appointment. If it's something, you know, like the stuff I was doing, get on the fucking roof, put in the screws, right? And that's where, or, you know, set a date and time when you're going to do that, weather independent, of course, right? Uh, but uh, that's what this, uh, this episode's message is really about getting shit done. So in that sense, I hope you have a nice rest of your Thursday. And uh, if you already had your Thursday, leave your hands above the blanket, have a good night. We'll be in touch tomorrow when we're going to be in exercise Friday, and we're going to be talking about preparing for the financial crisis. Ooh. <laughs> so sleep tight, folks. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.